Hey guys, how's it going? So I am here in Irvine, California. It's 82 degrees outside. And I just finished charging this Tesla Model 3 that's right here behind me. So we're about to do a highway loop, or several highway loops I should say, to see how far this Tesla could go on the highway in one charge. Now I charged it to 90% because I'm renting this Tesla. And the owner doesn't want me to take it above 90%, which is completely understandable. And also, I'll be taking this down to 10%, not down to 0%, because it's not recommended for the battery, and the owner doesn't want me to take it down that far. But if you think about it, most Tesla owners probably stay within those percentages anyway. So, we're about to head off on the highway. It's gonna be Interstate 5, and I'll see you guys again at about see uh 70% battery okay guys we're in the middle of our highway loop right now we are at 70% battery we've driven 36.5 miles and let's see how many miles we have left give me a second there we have it says 170 miles left, but that's to 0%, not to um, 10%, which is what I'm, I'm taking this autopilot just kicked off. <laughs> so I'll check back in with you guys at about 50% battery, okay? okay guys, so we are at 50% battery. We've driven, I'm sorry, we've used 40% battery from 90% to 50%. We've gone 75.5 miles. And the indicator says that we have 123 miles left on the battery. So at about 30%, I will check in back with you all. percent battery from 90% to 30% we've driven 118.5 miles and we have 73 miles left on the battery but remember we're stopping at 10% so next time you see me I will be at the charging station charging station we drove from 90% battery to 10% battery and we got 167 miles now if you do the math on a full battery that would be about 209 miles which is not too bad the EPA gives um, this particular model 3 which is a standard range plus a uh, total driving range of 263 miles so we we would have gone about 209 which is that's not too bad Traffic was pretty good. Um, I stayed at about 75 miles per hour most of the time. So now it's time to charge it. So right now we're gonna start charging it. I'm right here at the charging station. We're gonna charge it to 90% and see how long it takes. Hey guys, so I just finished charging. Uh, I'm not currently at the charger, but the charging station is behind me. As you might be able to tell. Uh, the reason I left the charging station is because there was a line forming and uh, I didn't want to hold up anyone. But if you look over here, see there's lots of Teslas right over here. They're all charging. So charging from 10 to 90% took about 40 minutes, almost 40 minutes exactly. Now I did this at about three o'clock in the afternoon. So 
it's a bit of a peak time you know it might have been able to go a little bit faster but a 40 minute charge from 10% to 90% Okay guys, it's time for a zero to 60 run in the Model 3. So I'm on an empty stretch of road over here in Irvine, California. So nobody around me. And right over here, I got my specialist timing GPS gear. So let's see what this Model 3 could do. All right, you ready? Five point four nine seconds. That's pretty fast. That was fun. Let's try it again, but the opposite way. Okay, guys, we're on the opposite side of the road, doing a zero sixty one more time. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. So that second run was a little bit slower at 5.74 seconds, but that's still plenty of speed for a vehicle like this. So this is a four door family sedan, and it's also currently the slowest Model 3 you could buy. So at between five and a half and 5.7 seconds, I think that's plenty of speed.